I start uh, from uh, the introduction. Uh, my guests, our guests are uh, two actresses and performers, uh, Maria Vanieva and Olga Krivosheyeva. Uh, Maria Vanieva is an actress, actress, performer, singer, teacher of drama, workshop leader, graduated in uh, 2009 and as an actress, works at drama department of uh, Kharkiv National University of Arts from uh, 2010, continue education by doing uh, a PhD in Zaporozhia uh, National University. As a teacher of drama speci specialization in training through game methods, Maria was involved in a huge number of international projects. Uh, she has started international exchange between Kharkiv students and Polish theater drama uh, in Goleniów and German theater uh, wheels in Berlin. And uh, the second uh, guest, it's Olga Krivosheyeva, actress, teacher of, of drama. Uh, she finished uh, the Kharkiv National University of Arts, named name by Kotlarevsky. She graduated with honors from the university and received master degree in theater arts. Uh, since um, 2016, she studied in Kharkiv Kar Kar National University of Arts as a trainee assistant in specialty performing arts. Since uh, 2019, uh, she is uh, a postgraduate student now. She is three years student at Zaporozhia National University. The topic of her dissertation is organizational and pedagogical condition for the use of game training in the professional training of a future actor. And the title of the presentation, the method of Leonid Sadowski as a valuable um, part of the Kharkiv National School. I'm looking forward to your presentation because it's my first time to know uh, more about Leonid Sadowski and about this, as I think, uh, the um, training of a future actor it's it's uh, um, uh, 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 it uh, seems to be very interesting so uh, the floor is you thank you for, for you for our introduced it's uh, so great and uh, now we start our presentation about our method and now you see the photo of Kharkiv but unfortunately Kharkiv was uh, like on this photo before war now it's like a ruin but um, we not say about it today and just look forward to a piece uh, soon and um, uh, now I want to tell you about uh, uh, some little piece of information of our university. It's a Kharkiv National University of Arts name uh, uh, after famous Ukrainian playwright writer Ivan Kotlarevsky is one of the leading and oldest universities of Ukrainian, a creative, scientific and methodical center of music and theater education in Kharkiv. The university consists of um, two buildings, theatrical faculty and conservatory, and prepares bachelors, specialists and masters, and 24 departments in the specialist musical art and theater art. And theater, you see now our city, uh, faculty. It's a building, is an architectural monument in Kharkiv in the Art Novia style with elements of English Gothic. It's known as a house of with uh, high mirrors. And our institute consists of uh, not our institute, only theater department consists of the um, the part like drama actors, drama directors, yeah. puppet actors, theater of animation, puppet directs, directors, and critics. Yeah. Our institute, it university, it's not a big, it's very small and comfortable with um, uh, not a big um, rooms for um, a rehearsal. At uh, every student uh, know each other, and it's very good for communication between all these. Uh, department. And here in this university uh, for 30 years I was working uh, honored worker of uh, art of Ukraine, Elenit Sadovsky, uh, who uh, 
was actually the head of the department of acting arts of drama, theater and cinema, and was associate professor, director. And for me, um, I, th I think he was a great pedagogue. And also I can say that he was my teacher and my friend. Also, I wasn't his student, I was just a colleague, but I also uh, was studying from him how he could work with students. And he created his brand, his method and brand, Maesternia 55. Uh, Maesternia, you can translate like workshop. Uh, so he decided to call course group of students with whom he was working, Maesternia 55, to give a name to the course, to make it a brand. And um, he was trying to teach students from the first day uh, as a theater group. So he tried to organize these four years of education like an already existing theater group. And from the first day um, was applying to them like to a real actors. The sense of life Leonid was um, work all time at the university. She always woke up and thinking about uh, uh, his performance and uh, uh, he was one of the uh, first person who came in a university and uh, your work, uh, his work uh, is his life, we can say. Please. He educated four generations of actors, uh, so he, he uh, had four courses, four groups. Um, unfortunately, two years ago, uh, he left, he died. And uh, um, this last group of Maesternia 55 couldn't work with him a lot. And we are, me and Olga, we try to keep his method and to continue his work. Uh, and to follow all his principles of the method. Uh, we were lucky to work with him for um, at least uh, eight, nine mm -hmm. years. Um, and so uh, we were like a one group of uh, pedagogues. Yes, after my graduated, I started to teach with Maria and with Leonid. Together. At first, she was a student of Maesternia 55 yes. from 2011 to 2016, and then she joined the teachers group. And <laughs> we want to say some funny picture. It's um, like um, see our method uh, better this picture because our spirit uh, spirit because uh, art must be joyful and uh, art must be happy. Um, and that was Leonid Sadowski always uh, said. He was trying to make each day, each working day, really interesting. Therefore came the method. Mm. Um, uh, he, uh, I must say that Leonid Sadowski was also studying and in 90s he was able to visit St. Petersburg and to make internship there in St. Petersburg Academy of Arts. Uh, and he visited courses uh, classes of uh, Arkady Katzman, who was a follower of very um, important and famous Russian director Tavstanogov. And uh, Leonid Sadovsky was observing lessons and saw um, basic principles which they were using and then took them to the Kharkiv educational process and slowly started to put these exercises, these approaches to his educational method. Um, and he always um, tried to keep the basis, but always invented his own things. So we can say that it's author's method. Five principles of it are studio approach, actions, acting workshops, body expression, and probes. 
And now I want to tell about studio approach. Uh, that means that everybody cares, follow and process, support and help each other, work together and depends one of other. And now you can see the photo with a lot of photos. It's a photo of... Uh, 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 students uh, from my sternum and um, <laughs> and to <we laughs> it's a it's a game workshop uh, continue <laughs> and um, uh, this photo need it's very uh, important for us because all uh, after graduated all students uh, stay in the walls of on this photo and the next generation can see what who was in my who were in my sternia and we tried to uh, keep the traditions and to take it from one course to another so they feel this responsibility of a brand of a name that they are not just students of university but student of special workshop 55 it's not the theater is a collective form of art in order to form in the shortest possible time team spirit and the family atmosphere especially in the first courses of study Lenit used a set of uh, practical tasks tasks which are called which are called actions. And this probably one of the funniest parts. Uh, and I see that our students are also here and they would probably share their experience in the end. Uh, but these actions is uh, something that they do each day, each single day from first course till uh, uh, latest course. Uh, and uh, these actions include several um points so first action is invitation then it's lighting in of a candle program chronicle extinguish of a candle and we start each class each day with actions and we finish each day with last action uh, we will tell you de in detail uh, the first it's an uh, invitation. It's an action. Uh, the propose uh, this action is to invite the teacher to classes in a creative way. The task is to come up in character with the proposed circumstances and the reason why the teacher urgently needs to come to the audience. Uh, the urgent need for the participation of the teacher arises due to the exhibition of the proposed circumstances. Same, uh, the gravitation of the proposed circumstances gives rise to active action, an active desire to achieve one's goal. Such a statement of the task awakens the nature of the actors, makes him get involved in the process, totally not to portray because the teacher can refuse to participate in the creative action if he does not believe the students. In addition to the proposed circumstances, students come up with images, select costumes in order to justify the proposed circumstances as much as possible. And now you can uh, read uh, invitation examples. Uh, teacher member of the uh, jury of the international competition for the launch of paper airplanes. The competition is about to begin and you need to reproach. Uh, um, so some creature from fairy tale uh, captured students of the course and teacher is a hero who only one can save the prisoners and they when they come they really need to try to to express all this tragedy uh, which happened so there must be a very uh, we say sharp circumstances that they really need the teacher to come so they they try different approaches how to persuade teacher because uh, on the other hand uh, teachers can uh, make um, ask questions uh, who are you uh, why are you here what's yeah, happened resist no, of yes. go going um, play in this game with the students and therefore already start this interaction uh, already in teacher's room 
it's very good to develop speaking improvisation and attention because students always uh, be in concentration and uh, uh, and look what happened how how our um, behavior changed in, in a process communication it's uh, it's a very difficult sometimes because in our um, uh, teacher room is another teacher from another department and <laughs> uh, it's a uh, like a stress and uh, with a and um, uh, challenge. challenge for student because it's really uh, scared and uh, and um, um, for 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 first course it's scared uh, a, a lot but it's very good workshop for um, 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 uh, feeling feeling on the stage. Stage. and therefore game starts so we are already in a game and this uh, attitude this atmosphere already creates uh, some uh, nice um, start nice beginning of future game and uh, this invitation is just the start so we continue uh, slowly uh, be involved into other next action and now ah, we want we, to we, say you mm -hmm. it's very short 20 seconds we found uh, some invita invitation <laughs> to give you some uh, vision, vision of what's yes. going on <laughs> Okay. And sometimes they play really jokes with uh, teachers. This is the moment for them um, where they can get a little bit closer <laughs> to the <laughs> to some teachers. I once I was captured and and, and put in the um, pocket in the. Um, Bag, bag and they took me actually outside <laughs> like a, a prisoner it was <laughs> funny well it, like, here we all play with this you know <laughs> distance a little bit but then after they invite teacher to the room yeah. and we have uh, the main action which is actually the heart of the method it's, it's lighting, lighting of a candle and the purpose of this action is to evoke creativity again uh, and the well-being of each student and create a collective working atmosphere uh, to to make a ritual of lighting in a candle and to uh, make every soul every student to be connected to some uh, special moment uh, because we believe that theater is not a regular work. You, you need to be a little bit under. Uh, this lighting in of a candle brings some metaphysical um, moment to, to the whole process. And so the task is to come up with a situation uh, as a result of which a candle is lit. So something is going on, something is continue. The story uh, uh, appears so that the candle appears and it can be any form plastic sketch ritual a dance clip literary composition song clown circus anything and and all these actions created um, one students um, it, it's uh, that every day we have one student who can create it all uh, action who is actually uh, the charge in charge for the day who is on duty mm -hmm. uh, and now you can uh, read uh, and uh, then i i, I uh, add a little bit so this, this student he is uh, the director of the day he comes up with the idea and then he say to other students okay now next tomorrow we are doing this this, this. so in the evening they prepare this ritual of lighting in a candle and a uh, every action actually and each student have this duty 
uh, in a line in the order. It's a challenge for students too because the uh, invitation started to co communication with teacher uh, and uh, lighting of candle started to communication with each other with students in some time it's more difficult than in teachers because there's so many students we have and the last course we have uh, for 40 40 students uh, director and uh, actors Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you can um, uh, here are uh, examples uh, all of uh, uh, for example ritual of male warriors uh, who come and uh, fight and uh, the result of this unification of energy a strong masculine spirit a light is lit a candle appears or it can be a composition on the theme faith hope love where they. Uh, pretend sculptures uh, who expresses these feelings and who become alive and in some process in some there is all, always a conflict as you know theater is mm -hmm. always sh shows always conflict okay. and Leonid always said that he must and not uh, not only he but audience must feel uh, a joke it's like I, I, burning, I, burning. Must be, their soul it must be burned i must always surprised what happened when, when yes happened. and <laughs> that's what we try to to get in this uh, action lighting in of a candle and so now we want to um, to show, show you, you it's one of the last actions and actually it was dedicated uh, to lenit sadowski who left us it was uh, one year after his death and students created this uh, lighting of a candle themselves in the memory of uh, their teacher.
And so they light a candle and it has a place on the teacher's table. And uh, this candle is burning all lesson till the evening and uh, they uh, students take care of this candle because there is also a rule if candle will uh, blow up out uh, the lesson is finished so students uh, also have this responsibility to take care about the candle to watch uh, that it is always um, lit that it is always lit and there are also different different variants of these rituals and each day we we see like a new performance the next action it's program uh, the purpose of the action is to present a program of acting class which usually includes an invitation of a teacher lighting a candle present a presenting a program chronicle training props extinguish a candle it's um, the task is to come up with circumstances and a way for the program to just land on the teacher desk and you can read um, some um, examples and it's like uh, you know in in a theater program when audience come to the state theater and some lady uh, give uh, the audience a program with a name of actors and maybe some text about performance and we tr try to do uh, like our <laughs> own um, our own theater and uh, give opportunity to student uh, um, do all step of a theater process and try to create a program and uh, it can be uh, all like a light uh, a lighting of candle it's uh, it, uh, students can use all subject all um all um, objects they object. can present this program on different objects and so they also create who are they why they come what they bring why they bring something to teachers and they must create uh, like these circumstances uh, for example it, it can be a tv show and they give you a text of of your speech uh, and ask if you're ready for your performance for a tv show and sometimes teachers need to be very creative also in this situation or it can be a demonstration of clothes and then on t-shirts you can find the program of the day and mm -hmm. uh, it can be plastiline it can be um, uh, 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 it, it can be uh, like flowers it can be some food drinks which they bring it, they are also try to be rele relevant to the to the uh, situation and if it's election for example the politician can, can come with its program of party of his uh, politician organization yes it's a it's a good um, opportunity to observe uh, observe people and to make to to do some character interesting modern char character in modern world and uh, always be in a time uh, when we are uh, when we are living today yeah and now we want to show you uh, a program how it can be also this is it was some holiday uh, on this day it, we had pancake week and i think this was the day when everybody eats pancake You see our room, it's our Maesternia 55, it's not a big, but uh, um, very Atmos atmosphere, yes. And we have um, um, our costume room when students can come and um, uh, take, prepare some costumes and uh, um, they they created and thinking how use the costumes and uh, try to study use it correctly uh, for some celebrate or um, uh, 
uh, the, 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 the costume fits, fits to, yeah. to the uh, action. And it's uh, finally at the end of this program. Uh, the st uh, students need to uh, bring a program to the table, uh, teacher teacher's table. And we have some students who help with sounds and with, uh, with lights and like a director all time uh, do how, it's, how it must be. So they already learned to do some theatrical yes. other jobs. And for this action, you see, they prepared some pancakes. So sometimes teachers can be also uh, fed <laughs> by students. <laughs> this is a very nice <laughs> moment. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the presentation of the program. And next action, which is also uh, obligatory to have in the in the program some sentences about situation with COVID even students uh, studied and some period of time we work online and we try to do our actions and uh, our students try to uh, record it uh, on a video program and uh, we don't uh, see all because it's uh, too long maybe some part of <laughs> of um, this program And it was a possibility to try to try to do a montage, <laughs> and, and uh, uh, they started to, to do things that we um, before we never studied university, and it's uh, themselves works with the video and how it can be, and try to do new. Okay, I think it's enough to understand what happened <laughs> in my Sterne 55. And the next action uh, calls Chronicle. Uh, this is one of the favorite actions of students. <laughs> favorite uh, in a... Okay, we're <laughs> joking because it, it's hard. Yes. Uh, this is important uh, for directors also to um, find the main situation, the main uh, um, thing that impressed us uh, in a day and show it next day uh, what was the main what what happened yes what event influenced us the most and so they showed today what happened yesterday what was the main event of the day of working day in uh, during acting class and then they try to show this event uh, in some symbolical way so this is um, uh, abstract theater symbolic theater yeah task is to um, convey figuratively the event of the last working day to come up uh, with some artistically vision of this event and all other students have to decide um, has to guess what is shown what was the event of previous day mm -hmm. and the last action is extinct is extinguishing the candle is is this a ritual that ends each lesson of acting class uh, the students themselves have chosen the composition and reworked the text creating a course song the value of such ritual uh, lies in the feeling of involvement in the magic of creativity it is an organic competition of a common cause at the end of a creative day
Mm-hmm. And, um, and we have the song which was invented in 2011 by students themselves and we still sing it so for 10 years we have our course song which we uh, end each acting class with this song we sing it together we um, give candle to each of students and then in the end we blow up the candle all together uh, these are main actions and there are some more, for example, like artistic pausa, when they need to have time to redress themselves and there is a, a long pausa between actions. Some of students who is uh, free can come with some song or take our attention by any activity he wants. There is also ikibana, which um, tr- um, uh, teaches students to think uh, abstract. Um, it is uh, taken by ch- uh, Chinese, uh, Japanese, Japanese, uh, Japanese culture, culture. Mm-hmm. So where they work with objects uh-huh. and then they present this ikebana also. Artistic appearance is very interesting action when somebody gets sick or misses the class. When he enters the class next day or next week, he needs to come with some artistic appearance and explain a little bit why he was absent and then um, shows something that the group of other students accepts him and there is also a voting should we take this person or shall he he or she go and prepare again to to impress us more to to give this impulse more to be honored to join the the class and now i want to tell you about our acting workshop it's a third principle it's a training um, for the whole physiological um, apparatus of students uh, and it's developed um, uh, like imagination attention body ex- body expression and um, uh, uh, we show you some part of um, our training and acting game training is a means of developing uh, elements like and skills include work with uh, body and um, of the students and his emotional sphere, the opportunity for training participants to discover and realize the nature from the gain freedom. Uh, play and exercise, game exercise of acting training differ from children's play in the degree of, of awareness, um, purposefulness and uh, structure. Game training helps students learn to analyze the processes uh, that take place with them to be here and now. Uh, the creative process gives uh, birth to a creative state, which does not need to come as a result at the end of the path. It's already a given. It must be discovering yourself. You need to uh, start with the creative state immediately when you go on a stage. The creative stage rises if the actor has a culture of creative creativity freedom, for the education of which, first of all, favorable condition must be created for the life of the actor's imagination. The game develops the student's ability to let himself uh, react to the first reaction without missing it and without pushing himself to it, which is the main condition for the development of the actor's imagination. It is the training that helps the actor to know his body, his sensuality and nature. Mm-hmm. And we try, and Leonid Sadovsky always wanted to have this training, especially first and second course, but we kept it till fourth course. Uh, we try to do it because it's harder and harder with uh, each year, but uh, still we try to, um, to do it, to play, to make ourselves uh, free and alive. Uh, and uh, also this uh, trainings uh, are very funny which uh, helps to get to a nice state so let's try something yes we want to do it with uh, with you uh, one moment and uh, for us it uh, will be great if you can uh, switch or uh, video uh, uh, turn on turn video. on video and now just i ask you show me your hand like this it's very easy Okay, and um, 
uh, good, great. And uh, uh, put, uh, together. Uh, put together your fingers. And now do like this, spread your fingers. Okay, great. And now do like this. And now we try change. The first it's a uh, put together. And now uh, one put one hand like this, good. And okay, and change left. Uh, yes, left head uh, together, uh, to, uh, uh, no, spread, spread. Uh, and uh, it's mirror. Right and hand. again, together and change. Uh -huh. Try to coordinate this process. Mm -hmm. And now your brains work very hard now at this moment and change. Try to do it in your own reason, how you feeling. Uh, at first time, uh, the students do it very slowly and uh, uh, and try to do it faster, 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 okay. It's a very good exercise in the morning when you cannot wake up and your brain, can, it's, a, it's a better than coffee in the morning for brain. Okay, and easy um, second one. Exercise, try uh, to turn your uh, uh, hand in the left and uh, head forward, right, good, forward, down, up, and um, step, the step, feet. step the feet. We can't see it, but please do it. We have five um, uh, possibilities, left, right, uh, down, up, and stop your foot. It's, it's easy for you, but now we can try opposite. When I say left, you, can, you do right. When I say right, you do left, uh, down is up, up is down, and stop your feet, it's clap your hand. Okay, try, do it slowly now. Uh, left, right, and you turn, mm -hmm. turn uh, down, up, stop your foot, stop your foot, right, down, left, down, up, foot, foot, left, right, down, foot, right, foot, left, foot, 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 foot. Thank you. Yay, bravo for those who did. Yes. Uh, and let's try something like this. Please uh, make any gesture uh, which you can spread on four counts for example you can touch something in front of you or you can stretch it would be very nice also to stretch now uh, create your one movement which you can do now and i will count till four and please do it on four times for example if i touch my head i do it like this one two three four and then one two three four back so let make your movement on four. Mm -hmm. Try do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And now I'm asking you to uh, extend this movement on eight counts. Same movement, but give it eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And now think how you can do this movement on five counts. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do it on two. One, two, one, two. And now on one. One, one. Okay, so we play with this, how we can uh, be aware of our movement and of the time which is needed to make it, or with the expression which is needed to do it. Uh, okay, thank you very much. And uh, this is for sure just 
simple, simple, simple things. Uh, we try to work together in the uh, training. We try to uh, work in a group, to feel the group, to feel myself, to feel theirs. Mm -hmm. And next principle comes from the training. It's body expression. This is something very important that Leonid Sadowski always was pointing on, that the text, the verbal text, is not important. That all... Uh, that most important is what your body says, how you move, how you, how you sit, how you hold your head. And that was, uh, uh, this is what we train every, every day. Uh, and for example, for first course, we try to get rid of the words at all and to make our etudes, our small showing scenes with less amount of words. We try to remiss the word by gesture, by uh, our look uh, of the eyes, by turns, by body. And for example, uh, that's how um, a physical theater performance was invented on drama course, uh, like uh, plastic, plastic performance, where actors try to say something with the body. And that was the first time on Leonid Sadovsky course when drama actors do a physical theater performance. But that was just to train this body expression. Uh, this is a, a Seagull Jonathan Livingston story based on Richard Bach. We took it as the main line and then we were looking for a way to tell this story without words. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And uh, uh, these are the pictures from the performance. And the next principle, which we will come to, it's it's a props principle. Prop it's self prepared. It is based on literature or dramaturgy texts are shown each day. Students do a lot of independent uh, work. Uh, so this is very important that there is a difference between prepared scene, which uh, students show to teachers, and this probe. Um, Sadowski asked students not to do much, not to create much mise-en-scene and text. The main task was to feel something which was born here and now on the stage with the partner. So if I take, I don't know, Chekhov scene, I get through the text, I have the idea of what's going on, and then I come on the stage and I have my partner and we together try to experience this here and now we don't rehearse it we we must not show result we want to have this life process what is happening here and now um and as students made a, a lot of probes each day they were they had to show at least five probes each and each has to prepare Mm, five probes for himself, but also participate in other probes. And uh, Sadowski said that this self work is the most important thing. Yes, yeah, so now you can uh, see uh, our work, our program for four years. Mm -hmm. And in first That's year, great. we do some etudes. And one is very uh, important exercise, also memory of physical action and sensation when we try to, you know, uh, practice when I drink a tea mm -hmm. and then I uh, mm -hmm. try to feel the weight of the cup and the temperature of the drink which I drink or I uh, imagine that I eat uh, the apple or that I'm listening to the music and this is what we always uh, exercise also. 
and uh, second year so scenes from modern dramaturgy, scenes from classical dramaturgy, and uh, perfor musical performance uh, the first year, a third year work on performances and international project, and fourth work on performance showing international project. Yes, and uh, Sadowski always started from musical because this is uh, the easiest uh, way of drama maybe but also it's hard because it combines dancing singing and this was a challenge for student that what he always wanted to to give to student is a challenge when you have to sing you have to dance even if it's hard and sometimes even me i was mm -hmm. telling him it's impossible no. this student can never do this but he said no he will and uh, that's how we had jesus christ superstar in our repertoire we almost had cats in our repertoire now the work is interrupted now we want to some short trailer and Jesus on uh, our music musical performance. And they were singing, singing Lloyd Webber aria music, musicals, songs. Although from the beginning it was impossible. and uh, yes and also in the repertoire we always try to keep ukrainian uh, dramaturgy and russian classical plays uh, from dostoevsky and chekhov and here you can see uh, three sisters by chekhov So one of the very important parts of education became an international work, international cooperation, which we had started from 2013. And first we worked with um, Polish theater Brahma, uh, who became a very good friend of ours and actually opened for us this international cooperation. We did several summer theater academies with them when students went to Poland and exchanged the experience experience, workshops. Uh, we created um, uh, several performances together. With one performance, we made a Ukrainian tour and it is a very enrichable cooperation. And also Polish Theatre Brahma and Daniel Yatsevich, the director, um, gave my contacts to uh, Berlin Theatre Wheels, to Konstantin Buchholz, and there how we found also a German partners and made several projects with Germans. And uh, this cooperation actually continues now. Now we are in Germany with these friends. And this is also something what come from <laughs> these exchanges of students. And um, uh, yeah, this, this uh, exchanges uh, gave us a feeling of really repertoire theater when we could go somewhere, show our performances abroad. And that's how students were really responsible for their work, their performances. They have this will. We always tried to uh, create this will to work, desire to make art. Yeah. 
German pro projects, uh, which continued also. And for example, in 2018, we did a NACT Interfest uh, festival between Hamburg and Kharkiv. And there we took for work a very interesting play of Jura Zoifer, which was called End of the World. And Leonid Sadovsky had this, you know, really feeling of a true director. He predicted somehow the situation of nowadays. This end of the world play by Jura Zoifer is so relevant today. We, we uh, worked on it, just a moment. Uh, we worked on it um, two years ago. Uh, but actually, it is uh, telling us about ruin of the world, about some asteroid which is going to crash the world. And so there is one professor who runs around the world leaders' um, doors, knock and say, please help me, there, the asteroid is coming, we are all going to die. And we now take this play again and try to... Uh, create a new project which will include universities of Europe where our students are studying now. Now my Sterna 55 is spread all over Europe and I'm sure that Lenit Sadowski would be very happy about such international cooperation <laughs> but uh, yeah you know circumstances are <laughs> uh, not funny <laughs> but <laughs> yeah we have what we have. And uh, for this end of the world performance was made a very uh, important tour two years ago for Poland uh, to Krakow to Auschwitz-Birkenau because the play tells about uh, this captured uh, Jewish um, in middle of last century. And Leonid Sadowski was sure that students need to have this experience to show this experience on the stage. So this was his very um, uh, important uh, desire to, to give this truth on the stage. That's how he took students to Birkenau to get this experience, to be really naturalistic on the stage. And th this really helped students to express that atmosphere. And students find it relevant for this uh, uh, performance because and and uh, and so that time, uh, be thinking about uh, what um, what you really want it can be because now it, it believe in a peace. Two and years ago, two we years were ago, living in a peace. peace, and everything is okay. Why we can do? Um, this performance how young student can feel this horror this um, atmosphere so it was important to get this experience now we don't have to go somewhere we have this experience so maybe yes. we just need to work on this play again and uh, also uh, Sadowski was very um, brave he likes to use really um, shocking um, approaches, shocking tools, shocking mise-en-scenes. Uh, for example, in that performance, he uh, sent naked actors in the uh, imaginary uh, uh, camera, 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 gas, gas camera. camera. So he really chambered, uh, chambered um, he really worked with students as a real actors. And this is our last project, Summer Theatre Academy, which we, uh, which we uh, did with uh, Brahma uh, this year again. But it's a very long story. It's impossible to tell this. <laughs> so um, yeah. Sadowski was sure that you have to give as much work to student as possible. And uh, here is our favorite phrase of him that if there is a flute, uh, swim towards university and work, work, work. Arbeit, uh, pratsui. Mm -hmm. um, this is the method that we try to keep and to go on with it. Thank you for your thank you for your attention. attention. Thank you for this opportunity, and we are happy to share with you.
Thank you very much, uh, Maria and Olga. It was very, very interesting for us, you know. Uh, I thank you also for your workshops <laughs> with us, because at the end of these two days uh, of lectures, it will be very, it was very helpful. <laughs> so thank you. Um, I impressed um, your lecture because you, you uh, give us a vision, a vision of uh, very um uh, ver uh a vision of uh, actors training as a very uh engageable um technique a very engageable time uh, for me it is difficult to uh imagine how it works you know because uh th there was one one person Leonid Sanofsky and a lot of people young people you have um, uh, you have a theater academy with a lot of courses and how it works uh, so the first question from me it's uh how this um uh, how the uh, um, uh, the workshops of Leonid Sadowski were connected with other courses. How it works uh, during the courses uh, in academy. Yeah, it is so that we have one leader yeah. who has a group, who takes a group and lead it for four years. Okay. So there is one teacher who has his course and work with this course from first till fourth year. And therefore we have four leaders who have each year uh, some course. So he was working with his students, with okay. his group from first till fourth year. When they graduated, again, he took newcomers, worked okay. with them and other teachers also had their methods so okay. it actually in you in our university each acting leader uh, has his own vision of how theater okay. must be made yes. and okay. He's, okay. he was a main director of uh, most uh, of performances on our on a course uh, yeah uh, he also was a director but it is so that the leader of the group always is responsible for educational process and for performances. Yeah, okay, okay. Now it's clear for me because I uh, try to wonder how it works with, you know, some kind of other uh, courses, uh, for example, you know, pantomime, because you said about this workshops uh, when you use objects. So for me, it was, it, was, it uh, could be interesting that they uh, have some courses with, um, for example, uh, puppet theater or pantomime on dance uh, theater or physical theater. And after that, they try to use this in the uh, courses with Leonid uh, Sadowski, but now it's clear that they uh, do everything. They uh, did everything with him. They try every. They tried everything with him. Yes. Yes. Uh, please for question because you know we have we can uh, discuss uh, a lot of uh, about this method and inspiration from this method. But probably you have some question or maybe some. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, 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 some experiences because we have students as I maybe they can share also yeah. some their vision what we missed maybe we missed yeah. something yeah hello can I can I say I'm a student <laughs> um, I apologize glad to hear. For, um, yeah I apologize for the dark screen we have an air raid now but uh, today is not about that so um, I just uh, I just want to say all these moments allow us um, allow us to practice improvisation skills, uh, think through everything to the smallest detail. I just now realized how uh, important these uh, skills are for a person in uh, his life. How to um, how to for for example convince the medical board of your unsuitability for the army. Uh, just for example, uh, and uh, on all these points, the essence of acting skills is kept here and now, event improvisation um, in general, our training is based on a mixture of the uh, methods of Stanislavski, Chekhov, and uh, of course, Sadowski. I just want to 
say um, all of uh, teacher who's uh, give for uh, yep. Say in the this experience. You can say in Ukrainian also. <laughs> yeah. Дякую, дякую дуже нашим учителькам за той експеріенс, який вони нам дають, тому що ми взагалі то не встигли, на жаль, повністю побачити, як працює Леонід Садовський mm -hmm. з студентами. Mm -hmm. so Але ми дуже дякуємо, що цей метод живе і буде жити. Дякую дуже. This is Andre Kudin, one of our students who is now studying on second course. And he is, he, he said that the acting skills he used now when he tries to get across the border is very oh. funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. Hello, my name is Anya and I'm studying with Andre. <laughs> and I want to tell that um, all of these stuffs uh, of our studying is very help us in real life because um we can be we can open our minds and um it's easier to live in this life and you can understand uh, emotions of it at first in your mind and in second uh, in other people and it helps um with communication to other people and uh, I'm very glad to study with my teacher, with our teachers, and I'm very happy to see you. <laughs> and uh, thank you about, thank you for all of imp information. It was very interesting and I remember all. And I want to see you guys. Love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, dear. thank you. I want to apologize that I couldn't be with you from the very beginning of your speech because I get the lessons uh, at the same time, but I, uh, I came a little bit early, uh, later. And, uh, and, you know, our theater academy in Bialystok just um, printed the book. It's a PhD of my colleague about um, uh, techniques of uh, puppet uh, actor body. And he write, uh, he, he's written a lot about Stanislavski, Chekhov, Meyerhoff, and there's no one sentence about Sadowski. So <laughs> <laughs> we, tr we truly don't know this technique. And uh, I'm waiting to watch this recording session one more time to, to, to watch the beginning of your speech. Thank you very much for this. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I want to say that um, I was in uh, some lessons in uh, here in Prague. I am in Prague and I have a good patron who take me uh, in her lessons and they asked me to show them some trainings and I show them the first training uh, what we had in our university and uh, they was really surprised about this and they was very thankful and I hope that our energetic will uh, <laughs> uh, by all the world and I, fe I felt this I felt and I remember uh, how was uh, it with us at first time first of our trainings and it's very interesting feelings and I'm thankful again thank you and I, I'm also wondering, because maybe I miss, miss this, uh, this part of your speech, uh, are there any person who um, take this uh, Sadowski technique and make something new on it using this technique, make his own new technique based on Sadowski's technique or no? Well, we worked with Leonid and we continue his work. Um, we, for example, also have our own feelings, how to add, how to work with it. So I, I can say that we continue and we, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. we build some, something <laughs> uh, of ours 
technique uh -huh. also. But um, now the course was taken by a colleague of ours, uh, Guivin Valerievich Slavovich, and he is working with students trying to um, keep this uh, approaches, this same method. So uh, he is also following a method of Sadowski. Yes, and we uh, ha and we continue our PhD, and we want to and we write uh, is uh, is writing about this method, Maria, and uh, I'm uh, more about game training, and we, I think soon <laughs> we can show you our work, and you can yeah. also also give a book. To yes, you, <laughs> where you can. Because I'm asking this because you know the 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 most interesting part of someone's techniques today is uh, how this technique evolved. So, uh, for example, Stanis Chekhov used Stanislavsky method and change it. Lee Strasberg takes something from Chekhov and change it. So uh, I'm waiting for your book, with <laughs> your own ideas, not only <laughs> Sadowski, but on your own and, uh, and, uh, way of thinking, because it's uh, much, uh, um, uh, it's much more necessary today because the time has changed. Yes. All uh, the actor's technique had, has changed. Mm -hmm. So uh, also uh, the knowledge about the Sadowski technique is, technique is one part of it, but what can we do now and make a new technique? It's also very important for uh, many of us, many, especially uh, actors. Okay. Yes, that's true. Uh, yeah, Thank you so much for this uh, yes. inspiration. We will do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you must. You you must write this book. <laughs> <You need it. laughs> okay, we put you in the list of yes. those. Speakers yeah, <laughs> receive that it first. <laughs> I think uh, the clue of this uh, of your presentation is you show us the not only technique. I think uh, Leonid Sadowski used a lot of techniques. He mixed a lot of inspiration from um, um, from modern and from past uh, techniques but uh, for me the structure of the uh, work with the people it was important because you as you so as you said as as you um, uh, present uh, the structure was um, very interesting way to uh, give a, a lot of impression a lot of inspiration for the people to, to be create so i think uh the structure is uh, the most uh, important part of his thinking about how to learn theater how to learn to be a, an actor to be a director to be a, a, a man a woman who creates something for something for um another person so and uh, the structure is very interesting and the question is uh, did you do you change something in the structure or not in your own work uh, uh now we uh, don't change because um, uh, we, we need some time we have uh, only thinking about how it can be because now we're in a different country it's yeah. uh, there is another um, uh, approach for education factor as soon we will maybe combine some uh, jo uh, Germany Berlin education theater education and propose uh, this method and I think um, it, it will be in future but now we have this and maybe in future we um, uh, we'll have some change. Yeah, and you know, uh, he Lenit uh, left us in 2020, yeah. and then there was a corona. Uh, then uh, actually war started, so we we didn't have enough time to yeah. to rebuild it or to add. We keep structure because we saw how good it works. Yeah. Yeah. But in this structure, for sure, we we are acting from our vision uh, but yes if we get a course uh, probably we will prepare some something interesting and that's the best for the future yeah <laughs> uh, i think uh, your lecture give us a lot of hope you know because we saw young people uh, who are very creative and who are prepared for um, uh, for everything, I think 
not only to be creative on the stage, but to be creative in his in uh, their life. So as Anna said, uh, that it helps to uh, to uh, lead to life. <laughs> uh, so I think um, uh, it is it is very interesting for us uh, at the end of uh, our two days uh, meetings with World Theatre Days and uh, uh, focus on Ukrainian theatre. Um, so the last question or the last uh, comment. <laughs> okay, um, Maria and Olga, I would, I'm very thankful for your presentation uh, and for your inspiration and we hope to have more uh, information about Leonid Sadowski and about your book, <laughs> or about his method and his technique of uh, actors training. And we hope to meet in Poland uh, or in Ukraine, and we hope uh, for peace. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. See you.